Our journey on Gran Turismo 7 continues. We have changed to the BRZ, and I thought we could maybe do some modifications, maybe do some tuning, and uh, see where we go from there. We are working to get a collection of FR Japanese cars. So the engine's at the front and drive at the back. That's the plan, uh, all going well. Yeah, let's go to GT Auto first. Uh, let's, I don't do I have any driving gear, by the way. Oh, yes, I have changed my look a little bit. A little bit of a custom helmet. Pretty cool, I'm pretty sure that is not centered. I used to work on that, but uh, anyway, yeah. Pretty cool. And let's work on customizing our car. A BRZ should hopefully have a body kit, right? So I believe body kits might be in the other menu, which is odd. Is that right? Maintenance and servicing? Yep, body kit is right here. 10,000, how does it look? Eh? I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. So yeah, it, it's slightly wider. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling here. Yeah, it's slightly wider. I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do it. I refuse to do that. What a complete waste of money that would be. Imagine you actually doing that. Why the hell would you ever do that? That is an embarrassment. <laughs> right, so we've got a couple of Little front splitters, which aren't too bad. I'll, I'll go for that. Uh, wing, or do we have a wing? A BRZ does look pretty good with a big, big old wing. Yes. Is that, is that, is that the only one they've got? Oh, this is the custom one, yes. This looks so cool in the gameplay I've seen. So, yep, high, medium. Let's go high, let's go all out. And you can change the end plates as well. That's such a cool idea. I love it. There's so many to oh man, it's loads. There's actually loads. 25 end plates. I love that. All right, yep, yeah, definitely purchase that. 1.5 thousand. Rear. A little bit of diffuser, yeah, sure. A bit of extra downforce. Any side scouts? Yeah, this is definitely the best way to do this. Screw. The stupid body kit. That was horrendous. That looks not. That looks all right. It looks all right. Oh, do you want some bonnet pins? Yes, we do. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, we're going full rice mode right now. Um, I'll leave the hook. Yeah, I don't want to tow hook. Roll cage. She can't see it from there. There we go. So that's like a sort of internal around the window it's a bit more robust it gets just basically gets more expensive and more robust okay cool I'll go for some bbs these are re v7s oh we can change the size oh yes oh my god that's it no <laughs> normally i go for bigger but it actually looks completely wrong it actually hurts my eyes yeah 18's fine um can I go for slightly wider on the old rim width. Yeah, looks good. That is a good looking BRZ. And what we may do as well is add a little bit of performance. Um, do I want to change the light bulbs? <laughs> yes, why not? 150, sure. So you got front grille. So it depends on the car, okay. Front, gr front grille and caliper colors. I'm guessing that is due to licensing issues and stuff like that. But the BR, BRZ? Yeah, the BRZ looks great. I like it. Body kit, not so much. That was a massive disappointment. But we move on. And um, yeah, I'll add a little bit of performance. Maybe put an air filter in. Maybe do a little weight reduction. Nothing too crazy. Um, do you want some new tires? Air filter, lovely. I think we might leave it there to be honest. I think that's roughly what we want. Around the 450 mark. Some new little brakey pants, lovely. You can't beat good brakes. When you go to modify a car, suspension brakes is the best place to start. Definitely. Uh, upgrade the brakes. 
Hmm. Drill discs. Yes. There you go. 3,000 spent. I need to stop spending money because I'm going to run out. Yeah, tires, brake suspension. That's where you should start. It's very tempting to go engine power. No. I know. It's 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 annoying, but there we go. Um, high speed ring in Japan. Needs to get further above. And we get the car we need to complete the menu yet again. I do want to sort of maybe go for some slightly higher tier events at some point. Potentially. Um, let's stick with the BRZ though, and let's let's race. I want I want first. We we, we want the gold, don't we? I want to try to earn some of that money back. Let's go! Look at that spoiler! Damn, you're looking good, BRZ. Of course, you got livery editors as well, which we um I, I've touched on briefly with the the racing gear. Do I have that helmet on? There we go. It's the game riot. That's so cool. The helmet customization feels a bit clumsy and clanky at first, but once you get used to it, it's actually pretty good. The fact is that it's awesome. You can do a race suit livery as well. This car feels very racy. Slightly lighter, better brakes. Pretty good start, I'm happy. Those brakes worked an absolute treat. I would have ended up in the wall if that was stock, I think. My humble opinion. See the roll cage there, which wouldn't be there if I didn't fill it in. <laughs> Thanks, Scott, for that wonderful bit of knowledge. Oh, it's quick! I'm always a bit critical of the BRZ and the GT86. It's. I always feel like it needs a bit more power, but. It's definitely got potential, there's no doubt about that. That's why people love to mod those cars. It's a pretty big spoiler, isn't it? It sort of weirdly clashes with the um, the wing mirrors a little bit. I don't know. Here we go. 125 miles an hour in a BRZ. Would you look at that? Stream here a little bit. Final lap. We're in the position we need to be in, but can we go for gold? I've got extra downfalls. My big spoiler. My diffuser. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't quite work like that, unfortunately, but wishful thinking. My brakes are definitely better than the AIs. I want to win. Really impressed by how how this car is handling so far. Very impressed. I love this colour as well. It really pops. We have one corner here to get it done. I must admit, the guy in first is not is not doing bad. I have to cope with second here, which is kind of annoying, but I don't have anything more in the tank, honestly. It's just quicker in a straight line. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, he's just getting away. So it's time to close it out. Ah! Yeah, mid range and high end, actually. He's just quicker. Second place it is, okay. Damn, you look good. Have I ruined that car? <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments. I love the fact that can look at that. That's so cool. I love that. Um, I stole the livery for the race suit um, and I did the helmet basically. Yeah, I, it needs a bit of work, honestly, but still. I think it looks quite cool. If you see that that suit and that that helmet so many times, and it represents you in multiplayer as well, so it's quite important. I definitely want to spend a bit of time on it. Definitely. Ooh, lovely. The list is almost done. It's weird. When I got to level eight, 
This just, just, just slows right down. This is okay. Fair enough. I don't know why level eight is the the limit to where it just starts to slow down. I don't, I don't know why that is. Anyway, right. We have the car. We are now going, I believe, to the Tokyo Expressway. Yep. We're going there right now. Again. <laughs> Two laps, third or higher. This time, I want the W. I want the gold. I want first place. Please. With a cherry on top. I could go completely crazy and just completely mod the car to another level. I oh, do get a Mazda MX-5 for doing this. I have to check out the customization on this. Once we unlock it. I promise I will. Two laps. Let's do this. Let's get this done. are impressive. I like how adding performance parts and you instantly feel it. I mean, look at the Mini in the last two episodes. The speed, the lightness improves the brakes. You just see it instantly. You feel it instantly in the car. Brakes are incredible. Two laps to get this done. Whew. I must. It is my destiny. Again, if you guys are enjoying these episodes, any suggestions as well, let me know in the comments on what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more multiplayer, do you want me to see? Do you want to, do you want me to do these menus? Just keep doing them. Do you want to see more higher end races in quicker cars? Let me know in the comments. And of course, like the videos. If you are enjoying it, if you don't enjoy it, let me know why. Is that first place right there? I think it is. Oh! Use the barrier, Scott. It's all good. Thank you. I feel like there's more detail on this track now than the previous game. I might do like a comparison at some point. I will, uh, we, we will see. We will see. We will see. Let's uh, get in the old cockpit view. Let's really try and get a good lap here. We'll come with a bit more confidence. So close to the wall there. Must do a break for this corner. Breaks a little bit. Could have break less, definitely. There's more, there's space on the road. Got far too slow. Hence the AI has actually caught me up a little bit. Maybe it's because I'm in cockpit view. Maybe it's scaring me a little bit. Uh, now the mistakes are creeping in. First that was on his on his sleeve. Twist. Oh. Breaking in all the wrong parts. The 180 SX. No! Don't try it. How I didn't hit the ball there, I will never know. Still slowly building up that confidence. Racing isn't quite there yet. It will come. Maybe I still need the brake markers there. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, the 180 SX was very quick there at the end. Hence, he got the purple. Well, we got the win. The PlayStation logo at the back as well. Nismo logo. 15,000 in the bank. With some nice clean racing. And that. There's another menu to complete, and the Mazda MX-5 is now mine. 
Lovely. Look, look at that tiny little increase. What a joke. <laughs> I'm offended. Now, I bet the max level, by the way, is 50. It has to be, surely. I bet it is. It's, I don't know how many cars are there. So many cars. To the calf. The list is now complete. Show me what you've got. Look at that. These lists, though, are really grabbing the the epic cars of our history. I love them. Hey, congrats! You've got all three cars. This completes your Japanese FR sports car collection. Once you've collected your reward, I've got some stories to tell you. Oh my gosh. Uh, Deep Forest Raceway is now unlocked. An iconic track in Gran Turismo. Absolutely iconic. Alongside the Tokyo Expressway, I'd say. Maybe even more iconic. I don't know. Maybe. These three Japanese sports cars are front engine rear wheel drive FR models produced between the 1980s and 1990s. We have the S13 model Silvia. Oh, yes. And of course, the A AE86, commonly referred to as the 86. There we go. These are nostalgic favorites of Japanese car enthusiasts. Nowadays, Japanese sports cars are popular around the world. But that story probably begun back in the 1960s. Oh, that looks gorgeous. The 2000 GT Toyota. And the Honda first, Honda's first sports car, the S-Series. Oh, boy. The very first Skyline, the GTR. What a car that is. What a car that is. French. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm stopping the game. No, 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 no. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. French hot hatches. So we have the Clio already. We need a DS3 and a 208 or 208 GTI Sport. Lovely. Can't wait to get these. For this menu, I'd like you to collect some free modern French hot hatches. These are sporty little hotbacks, hot hotbacks, <laughs> hatchbacks from the DS automobiles, the Peugeot and the Renault, French's most famous brands. If you can bring me all three, I might have a little reward waiting for you. Menu book number 11. Right, I've got to check out this MX-5. I've got to see what we can do in terms of modifications. I have, I have to find out. Please have a really epic, really epic body kit, please. Right, can I please just let me just change my car, please? I need to check. Uh, right, where are you? MX-5. I'm getting quite a collection here, aren't I? There you are. That is my current car. I need to change the color at some point, so that is... It. I love a, a red MX-5. It just, it just feels so right. Right, body kit. Let's start with that. Please. Have an incredible body kit. Please. Wow. That's incredible. That body kits have been pretty depressing so far. <laughs> oh. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? What does that even do? Okay, I was going to say, what does that do? Okay, that looks alright. Fair enough. Rear. Okay. The rear looks good. So you got a big wing option there available. Okay. Some of the custom parts are okay. So got a roll cage. <laughs> Looks pretty neat. She got the tow hooks and the bonnet pins again. Okay, the customization's okay. It's just hasn't wowed me so far. Uh, there's a few options though. Right, where do we want to go? What car do we want to select for the next event? We are going back to Europe. I guess in France. 
No, we're not. We're going to the Deep Forest Raceway. <laughs> right, what options do we have? Um, what do they recommend? 500. The Volkswagen Sorocco. I think you're up. Yep. You fit perfect into this little race. Deep Forest Raceway is about to go down. Let's get it done. Let's get these French hot hatches out of the way. Thank you very much. I'm sick of them already. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not that again. I, I, I'm just, I would never buy a French car, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know why that is. I just... I don't know. <laughs> should, I, should, I, should I say this out loud? I don't know. I just don't like French cars, okay? That's my taste. I just don't like Renault. I don't like the Peugeot cars. I don't like the look of them. I don't. I don't trust them. Like they're going to break all the time. Just how I feel. Actually, saying that, I don't mind that Clio. The sports Clio. That's not. That's okay. That looks decent. I'll take that. If someone gave me it, I would, I would take it. <laughs> if it's completely free, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm a, I think I'm a bit of a Japanese fanboy, honestly. I do love my Nissans. No doubt about that. Considering this car has no modifications at all, it's not doing that bad, is it? Pretty good. First lap. Up to fifth. Very good on the brakes. Nice pointy handling. Yeah, impressive. You see the game slowly bringing up the sort of power, the models, the cars you're using, the PP ratings. It's doing it slowly. More difficult races as well. I was tempted to do a bit of a lunch there, but I didn't. Swim again. Yeah, well, one of my friends buy a, uh, not Japanese, French cars all the time. I don't quite get it. It's weird, the, the French culture for cars is so different to the UK or America. It's so different. I think the episode with Grand Tour represents that pretty pretty well, honestly. They, they have a car. It's, it's, it's a functional machine, um, and that's it. It's not a... I don't think it's like a, a, a love for cars. It's just a, a machine to get you from A to B. And it has to work. That, that's pretty much it, really. Excuse me! In our jabarjis! Oh, oh. Corner cut. Damn it. That's not what we wanted. It's in the, I'm in the top three, but that little accident was not ideal. I really hope online there's not just morons every race that ruin it for everyone. I really hope there's um, yeah space for a good community to go racing. That is, that is my, my hopes. I want to try and get at least second here. Start off really well, and then that one little accident screwed this over a little bit. Oh, let's see what I was trying to do. Break as late as possible. It's far too late. Yeah, third is um, all we're going to get today for this race. <laughs> it's over. No, when you start to make a mistake, you make a mistake, you start to overcompensate a little bit. And that's when more mistakes start to creep in. It's very frustrating. Anyway, top three in the bag. It's done. Done. I think that was a green lap as well, so it just shows how bad that was. Oh. Oh well. It's fine. You don't win them all, alright? You don't win them all. I don't get them all. Damn. Such a good start as well. Racing so nicely. <sighs> Little Citroen. It is still called Citroen, right? Or am I just... Am I just out of the loop right now? 
Is it DS Automobile? Is it that literally the name of it now? Surely not. Yeah, it's still Citroen. I don't know. Anyway, we move on. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to buy it. It's fine. Right, one more to go. And this French hot hatch menu is done. As long as we get further, it's, it's all good. Just bedding ourselves in. Getting comfortable. Owning. Let's go. Further above. So sorry, is that how... If I bought that car, is that how it looks? The whole like black and red split vibe thing. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not here to judge. Right. So we went on this track before. And the Mini Cooper, we came unstuck. Mistakes happened. Errors were made. Um, I'm hoping for a much better race. That's what I'm hoping for. I guess we'll see, won't we? So far, so good. The Sirocco is performing as expected. Oh, bring it around. Oh, you can hear the tires just screeching in pure agony. Wait when to turn the power on. Those turbines are back. Yeah, in the UK we had this. Oh, hello. Pop a smoke there. We had this pretty fairly big storm, um, and the turbines just were spinning like crazy, <laughs> basically. And uh, the price of power went down <laughs> briefly, which is quite nice. It's quite funny. I just like, woo, 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 woo. generate electricity. They're just so big, aren't they? And they're, let's be honest, they're a bit ugly. But yeah, I mean, I like, I like, I like what they do. Put it that way. Oh, look out! That's um, Renault's more sporty brand. Hence, Alpine is now in F1. It's basically Renault. But... Oh, the Sirocco's doing well. But can we get first place? I tell you what, it's got to be an exquisite lap. Tell you that, because he's four seconds up the road. So it has to be just exquisite. Like the shadows of the turbines, that's really cool, actually. Hello, everybody. We can do this. We can do this. I'm going against an AMG, honestly. I'm sure that's completely fair. Purple sector. I'll get him in. Very careful in this corner. It's better to be cautious on this corner. I think it's because it's up here a little bit. I braked so much there. Almost went straight into the gravel again. No! Not today. I refuse! Sirocco, you're doing me absolutely... You're doing me proud, honestly. You're doing me very proud. You are handling nicely. Finish first, you can safely pat yourself on your rear end. How many turbines are around here, by the way? <laughs> Loads of them. It's quite a nice looking view, but it's got these turbines everywhere. And that is the victory. Woo! Smashing! I like how this game still feels like a Gran Turismo game. The menus are still a little bit clanky and a bit awkward. But it's just Gran Turismo. It just, it just feels right, honestly. It just feels like it should be. Yes, yeah, so I guess if I buy the, the 208 GTI, that, that's, that's how it comes, maybe. I don't know. Weird. Maybe that's one of the options when you buy it. Oh, we are very, very close. We are very close to level nine. Um, I do actually want to go and maybe look at the used car section, potentially, before we end this episode. 
Go back to the calf. Okay. Or maybe we'll look at the use section in, in the next episode, potentially. Lovely, lovely. French hot hatches are complete. Grats, you got all three cars. Ah, I'm looking forward to these stories. Oh, got a two star one again. Nice. All right, what are these stories? Please share. If you're a, a fan of these hot hatches, let me know. I'm, I'm all for the... the I've, been, I've been quite down on them, haven't I? Let's be honest. France holds the distinction of having hosted the world's first motor race way back in the 19th century. French manufacturers have been involved in motorsport for a very long time. Hence the Alpine in the background there. And over the, the years, they've tended to excel at producing sporty versions of small road cars. Renault's uh, motorsport division, Renault Sport, has made great sports cars for its Megane and the Clio models. The Peugeot T TR GTI um, has also been a very popular hot hatch series ever since it first appeared in the 1980s. The DS3 Racing is another fun little race car, reminiscent of the DS models that competed in the World Rally Championship. All three cars provide a quintessential French hot hatch experience and are incredibly enjoyable to drive. Thank you very much. There we go. All three cars are now in my little collection. Oh, what's this? Oh, Petite Course de Flans. What is, what is this about? Finishing the top three. All right. Let's begin. He's set at the goal. We know what to do. Let's get it done. Finishing the top three. Set a target. Get the menu done. Please. I like these little sort of... Um, little sort of set, the, set up the theme a little bit. For your next event. It's like a road race. Chateau de Palotto. Now a championship, which normally means means two races. Can we come first again? I hope so. Um, let's go to the roulette wheel. Got only five more points, and I'm done. I'm leveling up to level nine. I bet there's a trophy for getting all oh, the Soraka. Don't know. Have that already. I have that already. What is up with these spins? Yay! Let me guess, 5,000. Great. Uh, I guess the game's probably desperate for me to um, actually buy credits, because that, that would be fun, wouldn't it? But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like on it, and we will have a little French championship in the next episode, and we're probably gonna buy a used car. See you guys soon. And bye-bye.